Well, this could be a wake-up call for the White House. Some new numbers out showing Republican Mitt Romney would beat President Obama if a presidential election were held today. Now, former Governor Romney leading by two points in the latest McClatchy Marist poll. Of course, that is within the margin of error. But what's the driving force behind these very tight projections? And can the Obama administration turn it around? Joining me now is Matt Keelan, consultant for the National Republican Senate Committee. Jake Berliner, who is a Democratic strategist and deputy policy director for the think tank NDN. Uh, Mr. Berliner, let me start with you. The president's support among Democrats and liberals has absolutely cratered. His deficit among independents now stands at 13 percent. He won those, by the way, in the you know 2010 election, and or his 2008 election, and his overall approval rating is what they call upside down. A majority of Americans disapproving of his performance. What do you think happened to him? Well, I think it's important to to keep this in some perspective. You know, we're still in a time where Republicans just had pretty significant gains in the midterms, uh, but despite all of this. President Obama is still the most popular uh, federal level figure. He's more popular than soon to be Speaker Boehner. He's more popular than Mitch McConnell. He's more popular than all the rest yeah, of the Democrats. Yeah, but that's not saying much because everybody's profoundly unpopular. <laughs> right. So let's, but then let's also look at some historical context. His numbers are similar. Uh, or in some other polls better than where uh, President Reagan and yeah, President Clinton's numbers is, were in significant time. What, why did it happen like this? Well, I, I think what you saw, I mean, you saw an election, which is very common in the second year of a presidency, where the uh, party on the other side uh, makes significant gains. The most important thing that's happening right now is, of course, that there's 9.8 percent unemployment and that the economy is in a tremendous rut. Maybe he's and been on the wrong side of virtually every major issue since he took office. What about that, Jake? Well, I think... Uh, if you look at the uh, recent deal he made on the taxes, the vast majority of Americans agree with his. First of all, he yeah, made well, that's a, not a deal a, yet. A I'm talking plus. about health care law, the stimulus plan, the auto bailouts. All of those are profoundly unpopular. Matt, let me turn to you. As unpopular as President Obama is right now, he would coast to victory, an easy victory over Sarah Palin, 52 to 40 percent. And the reason is, if you look behind the numbers, is independent. She loses by 17 percent among independents, which invariably decide elections. So isn't your party's challenge to field a candidate who does not polarize the moderates and those independents? Without question, and I think we'll get there. You know, Greg, to, to your point before, I think President Obama campaigned as one thing and has legislated as something else, and there's a lot of disappointed independent voters who thought he was going to change Washington, D.C., and they feel like he's trying to change America. And until he gets back to bringing people together and being a post-partisan president mm -hmm. and actually start solving some problems, you know, if, if unemployment is at 9%, 9.8%, yeah. he's probably not going to get reelected. Matt, you're dodging my question. You guys cannot cannot field a polarizing figure, uh, a figure like, at least according to the Marist poll, a Sarah Palin, right? Would you agree? At this, I would say at this point, Sarah Palin's going to need to work on uh, attracting independence, but a lot of the stuff that she's doing right now, particularly her uh, cable TV show, is one of the highest rated ones yeah, uh, next TV. to Fox News. That's easy stuff. Right. That's what I do. All right, Jake, um, President Obama made it clear in his news conference on Monday that, uh, you know, he's going to try again to raise taxes in 2013. I mean, isn't that radioactive? Doesn't that drive voters away? Why would he do that? Did he, is he going to do that because that was the editorial in the New York Times? <laughs> well, and as, as he said uh, in his press conference, he, he knows that the uh, editorial pages of the New York Times and the Wall Street Journal uh, are not what pervade the country and what most Americans believe in. But, but that's what I they recommended. The re they said he didn't fight hard enough for, for raising taxes. He should raise taxes. And in his news conference, he made it clear he wants to raise taxes in 2000. Well, right. And I think what the next two years are going to be about, and the key for Republican victory or for a Barack Obama re-election, is demonstrating to the country what kind of plan you have for the economy going forward. And if you look at how Americans feel about the tax cuts for the wealthiest 2% yeah. of Americans, they are... They are um, Americans are overwhelmingly against giving tax cuts to the 2% of wealthiest Americans. You know, you know, so it, those are good politics and good economics, Matt, the by the way. the easiest way to make taxes less painful is to cut spending. 
And, and well, now it's your chance. I mean, you guys now have a solid majority in the House. You're three votes away from a majority in the Senate. Uh, and your party's got to make good on its promises now. Would failure to do so, Matt, change the electoral dynamic in 2012, especially if the economy turns around and unemployment drops? Without question, we have challenges. We're going to need to work with the president and take on unemployment. That's the number one issue, I think, with Americans right now. And that's why when you ask people, do you want job creators to be punished by tax increases, let's get it right right now. This is not a tax cut. This is maintaining taxes at the rate that they're at right now. Right. They want job creators to be incentivized to go out and, and grow and, and hire people. That's 